The last problem says the sun delivers an average power of 583.9 watts per meter squared to the top of Mars' atmosphere. Find the magnitude of the electrical field, the maximum electrical field, and the maximum magnetic field for the electromagnetic waves at the top of the atmosphere. So it's talking again about electromagnetic, it's talking again about magnetic field, which if you remember from way back, it's uh, K q over r squared and the mag magnetic field which is the force divided by uh, v times q and that's uh... that's in the direction perpendicular to the field and now i'm almost sure there's a better definition for the uh... magnetic field than this but i, I just don't have uh... haven't taken the time to think about it really uh... but so this this question is asking about intensity and so the intensity that the that the electric uh, and magnetic field causes is uh, a unit of work per unit of time per area. So it's work over time is uh, power, and uh, power over a given area is an in intensity. Now, I just want to say I don't know why this is in the Chapter 20 homework. This is actually an equation for Chapter 21. We're going to go ahead and uh, look through it. So the intensity is equal to the maximum electric field times the maximum magnetic field divided by 2 times the permeability of free space. Now, don't worry about this stuff right here. I just scribbled some stuff out that shouldn't have been there because uh, this wouldn't let me erase for whatever reason. Now, we can also define... Um, the maximum magnetic field and the maximum electric field in terms of the speed of light. And so if we solve for E max or if we solve for B max, we can plug those numbers in and, uh, and we can simplify our expression so that the intensity is equal to E max squared over 2 permeability of free space times the speed of light and it's also equal to the speed of light divided by 2 times the permeability of free space times b max squared. So basically just solving for one of these factors and then substituting into the original equation. So at this point all you have to do is solve for E or B. So you would take the intensity times 2 mu times the speed of light and take the square root of that for E max or um, well I'll just go ahead and show you. <clears throat> So there's what you would get for B max, and then you would do the, repeat the equation for E max. Now the thing you want to make note of is in B max, uh, you have the speed of light as part of the denominator, and in E max you have the speed of light as part of the product. So that's the difference between the two. Now that's all you really need to solve the problem, but just in case if you want a little bit more information on some of the variables that are constants, you don't have to solve for them, they're constants, but the speed of light, for example, can be derived as 1 divided by the square root of the permeability of free space, or the permittivity of free space, times the permeability of free space. So light, the speed of light is subject to the permeability and permittivity of, an, of a substance that it travels through. In this case, you got uh, free space, so it's uh, you multiply those numbers out, you should get 1.11265 times 10 to the negative 17th, and, uh, which uh, C is equal to 299 million meters per second. And uh, then, of course, if you want the other variables, E, the permittivity, uh, the permittivity of free space, 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 12th. Permeability of free space is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. But let me reiterate, all you need to solve this problem is this right here, and then you just plug in numbers. You're given I as part of the problem. This is a constant, this is a constant, and this is the number 2. So let me go ahead and give you the answer that I got so you can you can check your work with what I have. So the maximum magnetic field with uh was uh was so B max was equal to 2.21 times 10 to the negative 6th and E max was equal to 663 and this is in units of uh of tesla and this is in volts per meter or Newtons per coulomb is another way of defining it. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the about section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.